Hello everyone, and in this video you're going to be exploring an amazing new feature that has been launched by ChatGPT that's called Projects. And this feature provides a structured and efficient way to manage your chats and files, helping you to stay organized and productive. So if we just go over to OpenAI's page, we can see that as of December 13th, 2024, ChatGPT Projects is available to all Plus team and Pro users, and it's going to be rolled out to free users soon. So what Projects does is help you to organize your chats under different files. So for example, we've got here a financial analysis project we've got a blog writing project grant proposal market research research analysis and under each one you can see that i've organized my chats so for example i've got my ai and healthcare analysis chat here i've got my keywords chat i've got an ai and healthcare advancements chat and so on so in order for us to start with creating a project what we need to do is come to where we see the plus sign here and i'm going to click on that to create a new project and we start giving our project a name. So I'm just going to call this AI in healthcare research, and I'm going to click on create a project. And what you'll see is that I now have a project called AI in healthcare research. And what I can do is I can come up here and I can change the color of my project so I can just differentiate it better between the other projects that I have. So I'm just going to choose a different color. So I'm going to give this this gold color. And what you can see in this interface is that you have an option to attach the files. I have the option to create a picture or use the canvas tool, which I'll show you how to do that within projects as well. The different chats that I have under this project will show up here. And I also have the option to add custom instructions. And the great thing is that you have the option to choose which model you want to run within your chat. So you can choose ChatGPT 4.0, 0.1, 01 Mini, and so on. So I'm going to start off by attaching a number of files and I'm going to upload them from my computer. So you can attach up to 10 files at a time. So I'm going to select my 10 articles and I'm going to attach that. And you can see now that my 10 files have been uploaded. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my custom instructions. So you can say things like respond in Spanish, reference the latest JavaScript documentation and so on. I'm going to say here in my custom instructions, you're an expert researcher, synthesize the provided information in a professional and concise manner using academic language. And you can add your own custom instructions and you can also ask ChatGPT to generate this for you. So once we've done that, we're going to save our custom instructions. Now, once we have our project files up, Uploaded. We have our custom instructions. I'm now going to start my first chat. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to add the prompt that says, besides these articles and provide me with the top five points. And you can now see that it's come back with a synthesis from the 10 articles with the top five points. And what you'll notice here is that it's given me a name for this chat within the project. And I can come here where there's the three dots and I can rename this chat to something that's more relevant. So I'm just going to call it article synthesis. So just so I know that this chat was focused on synthesizing the articles that I have uploaded. And now I'm going to start a new chat in this AI in healthcare research project by clicking on that folder. And in this chat, I'm going to ask it to analyze a data set that's also related to this project in AI in healthcare. So I'm going to start off by attaching my file. And you can see that this time the data set is the CSV file, which I've just uploaded. I'm going to start off by analyzing that data within that CSV file. So I'm just going to ask it a few questions. What is the average age of patients in the data set? How does the distribution of medical conditions vary across cross-gender, what is the proportion of males to females in the data set? Okay, and you can see this come back with the responses here. The insights arrive from the data set and I've got the average age, the proportion. And then what's important here is that we now have the second chat within this project showing up here. And again, like I said, you can rename this to something that is more relevant. So I'm just going to call this analysis of data set. Okay, now for the next chat within our project, again, I'm going to click on that to go to my main project. And this time I'm going to come here to where it says view tools and to this icon here, and I'm going to select the canvas tool. And now that you can see it's been selected, I'm now going to focus this chat using the canvas tool to help me write the introduction based on the articles that I have uploaded. I'm going to add a prompt here that says write an introduction on AI in healthcare using all the articles attached. And what you'll see is because we're using the Canvas tool, it will now open up Canvas and then it will start writing the introduction. And as we saw with ChatGPT Canvas, I have the option to change, to edit different parts of the sentences. So I can come here to the introduction and I can ask it to add an example. Okay, so you can see that it's now added the example. You can play around with the formatting, you make something bold, you can make it italics, you can ask ChatGPT a question, you can add references, you can use all the Canvas features within that chat. So what you can see that 
in this video, what we've done is that we've created three different sub chats within our main AI in healthcare research project. And what it's done is that it's really helped us to organize the different chats that we're using under that one project. Now, one last thing that I want to show you is that you can actually go to some of your previous chats and choose to add them to a current project that you're working on. So here I've got research analysis guide. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here to the side and I'm going to click to add to the project. And what you'll see is that I've got an option to add to any of the projects that I have. So I'm going to add it to the AI in healthcare research project that I've just created. And what you'll see is that this research analysis guide has now been added to that main project. So I hope you start using ChatGPT projects to organize your chats and your files. You'll really find that it makes you so much more productive. So I hope you found this video useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.